Hi guys, it's Risa. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm super excited because I'm going to teach you how to make my famous pina colada slushy drink. Okay, before I do, I just want to remind you to please subscribe, comment, like, share my videos with anybody who's on a health journey that needs new recipes, inspiration, motivation, all right? And hopefully it's everybody you know. And of course, ring the bell option, okay? So then you get all my videos by email and you don't miss anything. So let's get started. I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna need, really easy, super fast, and this refreshing drink you can have all year round. Right now it's summertime, because I'm in my tank top you can see but honestly this is a drink that you can enjoy again for company uh, for yourself on the weekend after work you want to add a little something something to it you can do that everything in moderation but if you make it like I do it's zero smart points for those of you that are on WW okay and if you're on intermittent or whatever else you are whatever you know, plan that you're on, this is a good choice, a healthy choice. My daughter thinks that it's better than some of these other big companies that make these fancy schmancy drinks. But the great part is that you don't have to count it and enjoy it anytime. All right, so what are you going to need? You're going to need for my pina coladas some nice coconut syrup. Um, I love the Da Vinci and no, I don't work for the company, but I find that it doesn't have any aftertaste, which you don't want, right? But if you can't find this brand, you check your local stores, your bulk food stores, your low carb stores. I've seen them even in houseware stores, okay? At Kane's Warehouse, I've seen it as well that they carry. So check out and find coconut flavors, okay? I'm going to use a tablespoon of whatever sugar substitute you want. You want to use a tablespoon of sugar, it won't hurt, okay? Um, I tell you what I do, you do what you like, all right? So some people don't like some of this stuff, stevia, truvia, swerve, but I, I don't mind it. A tablespoon is fine. You're going to use a cup of water, all right? And I keep ice cubes in a little baggie, a cup of ice or so. You want it really slushy, add more ice, okay? You want it less slushy, add more water. Exactly, okay? So, you know, change it up how you like things. Oh, and I use about a tablespoon and a half of the syrup. And again, you like it more coconutty tasty, add a little bit more, all right? The other thing that I use is about two limes, all right? You don't have limes. Sometimes if I run out of limes, oh, and I use this cute little gadget to juice my limes. Um, I've already done almost two, so I'll just take the other one. And I use a quarter cup is plenty because this is for usually a single serving. It does make quite a bit. And you could share it with somebody and then just keep making a bunch of them because I just have my my ninja here. All right. So if you don't have limes, a good alternative is some lemons or mix the two, a quarter cup. That's it. All right. And it'll be nice and fresh and tart, but not too tart because it'll be sweet as well. So I've got my ninja and I'm just going to add my cup of water. All right, my tablespoon and a half of the coconut syrup, a tablespoon of my trivia or stevia, whatever. My quarter cup, I'm just going to measure it and make sure that it is exactly a quarter cup. Okay, um, I could even add a little bit more. I'll see if I can get a little bit more. I like to just stick them all back in my little handy squeezer gadget and get a little bit more juice out of it. All right, oh, I did, perfect. 
You can even um, put it in the microwave for a few seconds or under warm water or rub it. So if it's room temperature, you get more juice. That's my tip. I add the ice last because you don't want it sitting there and melting. So I'm just gonna add my cup of ice cubes, all right? And I don't know, I might even add a few more and put my lid on. Just move everything out of the way. So you can see I have my Ninja, which I love. It comes in handy for smoothies or for any of my special drinks. I know. So just put it on carefully. The other thing I like to put it in is usually like a mason jar where I have these, like this is kind of like a mason jar. And I bought these reusable uh, straws on Amazon. Okay. So save the environment. <laughs> All right. So put it on and you just pulse it. Okay. And again, if you want it more slushy, hold on. I always have trouble because you have to put it on really tight. <laughs> So let's just open this up. There we go. I mean, you can just drink it out of this as well, but I like to pour it into, you can see it's nice and slushy. Um, and you get a fair amount. There's even more in here. It would fill it right up. Okay, look at that. Isn't it nice? So delicious, refreshing. Again, you can have it any time of year. Um, sit outside, serve it to friends, to guests. You want to take um, a piece of your lime, you know, and cut it. You know, you can do that and just like put it on and they could squeeze a little bit more or a piece of lemon, make it fancy. You want to add a few mangoes to it. Why not? It's super yummy and delicious. And in no time, you have a delicious zero smart point drink to enjoy. So I hope you love this video and you share it. And of course, my channel with anybody on a journey. And hopefully that's everybody you know. And enjoy my drink. Please comment. Tell me what you think. All right. And subscribe. Mwah! Bye for now. Enjoy your pina colada slushies. Take care, guys.